A recent accident in China has brought awareness to the hazards of alcohol-based fuels in cooking burners. The tragic accident occurred when a family was cooking a hot pot using chafing fuel and it exploded. Restaurants that use chafing fuel have procedures to minimize risk. But if you use a small burner at home, do you know how to stay safe? We spoke to some experts to learn what to do. With the weather as cold as this, hot pots are in high demand. But the fire can be a hazard. All restaurants that use chafing fuel have to follow a standard procedure. First, they use utensils to create a vacuum and put out the fire. Then they take a new pot before adding chafing fuel. We don't want the chafing fuel to splash on customers' clothes, so we take clear preventative measures. Liquid ethanol is even more dangerous. This family in China was eating hot pot at home when, without warning, the chafing fuel that was poured on exploded. When it's liquid, it will spread outwards, so that makes the burning surface even larger. So alcohol burners are even more dangerous. Chafing fuel is an extremely viscous fluid, so it is not as dangerous as an alcohol burner. This fire department overseas did a test, adding ethanol before the fire was extinguished. You can see how violently the flame erupts. Outdoor camping is very trendy these days. Alcohol burners are portable and therefore popular. But if you use one, experts recommend carrying this little item around. I suggest you have a wet rag on hand and use the wet rag to cover the flame. Don't put it out with water because alcohol can run as a liquid and when you put water on it, it will run even faster. If you're lighting a hot pot burner or a camping stove this festive season, make sure you know how to keep it safe.